All right. As you can see, I've got my little car packed up with all the gear I next need for my next outing. But right now, I want to appeal to all of you, everyone out there that watches this video. I want to tell you and ask you and plead with you about a good friend of mine over there in England named Warren Jones. Warren served in his military for many years. He was a paratrooper. Many, many, many countless exercises, operations, time spent away from home, many sacrifices he's made to his body, many sacrifices he's made to get the job done while serving his military and his country. So now let me tell my brother and sister veterans here in the United States the difference between veterans in the U.S. and veterans in the U.K. First and most importantly, they don't have a VA. The entire country is socialized health care, yes, but there are very, very few specialized programs just for veterans. Now, Warren, the proud man that he is, hasn't asked for any help, but we all can see that. This is my brother in arms. This man helped defend his country during the Cold War. This man spent countless times away from his family. And because of the way the healthcare system is, he was misdiagnosed with MS. Well, he was diagnosed with MS, just the wrong kind. So for many years, he was being treated for the wrong kind of MS. And now that they've diagnosed the right MS, it's too late to help him. So now he's trying to enhance his quality of life. He can't walk more than five steps, so he's limited to a wheelchair and to a walker. The hardest thing about this is that where he lives, the wheelchair does not fit in the house. He can't walk more than five steps without any assistance whatsoever, and he falls down constantly. So I'm pleading to you all. We're going to post the link. We're going to post it. Uh, it, they're taking up a, a collection for Warren. What we want to do for him is we want to get a lift chair. Uh, for those of you that don't know what a lift chair is, the chair, it's a recliner, but at a push of a button, it will automatically assist you to the standing position. So he doesn't have to worry about falling down. He can transition to his walker in the house quite easily. The problem in the UK is that those chairs cost 1,500 pounds. Um, there are no specialized services to assist him with this. There, there, there's no one. You know, and like I've always said, sometimes there's justice and sometimes there's just us. Well, right now it's just us. And this man needs some help. Okay, this chair will help eliminate most of his falling conditions. And at 47 years old with MS, falling down is not a healthy thing. So this is what, where we want to start. Of course, down the road, we're going to try to help do fundraisers to make the house more uh, handicap capable, um, or handy capable, as they say. Um, but for now, we're going to post it. Um, and it's uh, it's an unbelievable uh, fundraiser that we're doing. Um, they have a Just Giving page up. Right now we currently have 500 pounds collected. Um, and what I'm going to do for everyone, all of my subscribers, everyone that watches this, for everyone that donates to this cause, if you donate more than $10 or 10 pounds, um, I will automatically put your name in a raffle um, for a camping hammock that comes. It's a hammock that 
comes with a mosquito net and a tarp and it's a great way to get out and move around yourself and enjoy nature and help your own health. Um, so for everyone that donates over $10 or 10 pounds, um, I will enter your name in a drawing for uh, a camping hammock that looks like this or something similar. The reason being is I have to drop ship it and I can only do that in the US or in the UK. So if you're outside of that and you win and you'd still like the product, then you're going to have to help me with shipping. Um, we were going to do a tent in the beginning. I had a really nice one person backpacking tent, but I noticed that the price differential in both countries is extreme. Um, and we couldn't find similar products within the same price range. And I don't think it would be fair if someone here in the United States won a prize that was worth, you know, uh, $30 and someone in the UK wins the same prize, but it costs 75 I don't think that would be fair. So what we're going to do is a camping hammock. It'll be similar to this one, um, and it'll be at the end of the fundraising events. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read what they have on the Just Giving page. Uh, it says, Warren is a 47-year-old man who was diagnosed uh, with multiple sclerosis in 2012. Sadly, Warren was misdiagnosed with the wrong form of MS, meaning he missed out on crucial preventative treatments. Now, 12 years later, with the correct diagnosis, he has passed the point of treatment. Warren can't walk further than five paces unaided and uses a wheelchair to get around. Sadly, though, his home is not adapted to his needs and the wheelchair cannot come inside the house. This means Warren must use walking frames, or what we call a walker, uh, and the furniture to pull himself up and to lean on to get around. Because the house is not adapted, Warren falls regularly. And we all know, my brother and sister veterans, about your pride. Which, for a proud man who is sound of mind, this is embarrassing and it's degrading. So what they're wanting to do is raise funds for a power-assisted riser and recliner, otherwise what we call here in the U.S. a lift chair. Um, that, that will help Warren get in and out of his chair. That will lift him up and into his walking frame or into his walker, uh, avoiding any chance of reaching and falling or taking a step and being lightheaded and falling. This will give him the independence to move around more freely without relying on help getting out. Having a chair will help him and support him and will also help prevent him from falling. The footrest portion of the recliner will elevate his legs to help with circulation. This will help with the swelling in his legs. So we're trying to give Warren a quality of life and this chair will not only give him comfort but it will also aid in his mobility and independence to prevent further illness or risk. So please, if you can, even if it's not $10, you know, anything will help. Right now we're at 500 pounds. We're looking to get 1,500 so we can buy just the chair. And like I said, at the end of this fundraiser, when we do meet that goal with all of your help, then we'll go ahead and we'll do a raffle for a camping hammock. They have a 450 pound weight limit, um, which will handle probably two people. They are double wide, mosquito netted. Um, they do have a rain tarp that goes over the top of them as well. Uh, good quality product, great way to get motivated to get out, even if it's in the backyard. All right. So again, I'm not going to ask you to like and subscribe to my channel because again, this is a fundraiser for a, a brother veteran. All right, and I thank you all once again, and remember, love one another out there.